Welcome to the Trick Shift Garage. In this video, we're going to show you how to perform the throttle body idle relearn procedure for Nissan's electronic throttle body. So let's go ahead and get started. First, you want to make sure your vehicle's engine and transmission are warmed up. If not, drive it around for about 15 minutes. Next, you want to make sure your battery voltage is more than 12.9 volts. So you want to make sure your vehicle is parked with the steering wheel in the straight position. Lastly, you want to make sure all things electric are turned off, including your air conditioner, headlights, and rear window defrogger. It's better to use a stopwatch, but you can count manually as well. Make sure the gas pedal is fully released. Turn ignition switch on and wait at least two seconds. Then turn ignition switch off and wait at least 10 seconds. Turn ignition switch on and wait at least two seconds again. Turn ignition switch off and wait at least 10 seconds again. For the next step, we're gonna make sure the gas pedal is fully released. Turn the ignition switch on and then immediately turn the ignition switch back off. And wait at least 10 seconds in which you should hear the throttle body make this noise. At this point, start the engine just to make sure everything is still nice and warmed up. Okay, now comes the fun part. We're gonna go ahead and turn the engine off and wait at least 10 seconds. Make sure the gas pedal is fully released and turn the ignition switch on and wait three seconds. Next, we're gonna push and release the gas pedal five times within five seconds. Wait seven seconds and then fully depress the gas pedal and keep it for approximately 20 seconds until the check engine light stops blinking and stays turned on. While holding the pedal down, your check engine light will blink on and off and mine took about the full 20 seconds of blinking before it finally stopped. And once the check engine light stops blinking, you have three seconds to turn the engine on or it's gonna miss the relearning procedure. Start the engine and let it idle for about 20 seconds. Rev the engine two or three times, then allow it to settle down to idle. At this point, your engine's idle speed should be relearned and should be idling normally again. If you've tried this correctly a few times and it's still not working, you might want to check out your throttle body to make sure it's fully closed. Also check out your PCV valve, make sure that's working properly, and check downstream of the throttle body for any kind of vacuum leaks, like that's behind the throttle body, including the intake manifold and any kind of vacuum hoses that go back there. If the engine stalls or the idle hunts, perform this procedure again. That's it for this video. Thanks for watching. If you like our work, hit that like, subscribe, and notification bell for more Trick Shift Garage videos. And we'll see you on the next one.